This is not usually the kind of video I make, but I've just been having a lot of fun making these custom AR lenses for Snapchat, and a few people have been asking me how to do it, so I'm going to tell you how to do it. The first thing you need to do is you need to get the Lens Studio program from Snapchat. It's lensstudio.snapchat.com. That's the program that'll allow you to import everything into Snapchat and go through that whole process. Once you do that, you can either, you can make your own model if you know how to do that. I don't know how to make my own model, so I've been using this website called The Model Resource. And you see I have a link over here. I'm going to use a link for this example. You can download the model, and then once you have the model, you go to this website called Mixamo. Mixamo is a free service from Adobe that allows you to animate models like this. You can see I was already messing around with Bumblebee Man. For some reason, he wasn't saving right, so I'm going to do it with Link. So then you go to Upload Character. You pick your file, uh, you use the zip file if you want to use all your textures and whatnot. You only really have to decompress your zip file if you want to edit something in the graphics or whatnot. But then once it's ready to go, it'll load up like this. And you can orient them to see if you want to see the other angles. Go to next. And now you place the joints on here. Sometimes you'll have a character that's not symmetrical. And you'll want to uh, do it where it doesn't say use symmetry but usually they'll be symmetrical. Then when you have everything all set, go to next and it'll take a little while to process your character. Now he's looking around, he's ready to go. Now once he's in there, you can give him uh, all different kinds of dances, combat moves, uh, there's a lot of options in Mixamo. Um, let's give him some kind of a dance though. <laughs> I like that, it's just like, kind of like spastic samba dance over here. Once you're satisfied with what you've got, you download it. I just use whatever defaults it says, a FBX file, uh, use the skin 30 frames per second, and no keyframe reduction. Once your animated model is downloaded, you're going to want to go into the Lens Studio app. From here, open up a new project from Template Animated Object. And you can see that Snapchat already has a default character here in the animated template. We're going to replace him with our character. Now you're going to want to go to File, Import, and pick the model that you just made. And you'll see he's not animated yet, it's just the little raccoon thing dancing around, but we can change that. What you want to do now is under objects you'll see something called World Object Controller. Select that, scroll down on the little window that opens up on the bottom right, and scroll down until you see Animation Mixer. Now you're going to want to change it to the name of whatever it is you just downloaded. It'll usually be, if you're using Mixamo, it'll be the name of the dance you selected. So we have Samba Dancing Component 192. Then once you do that, change the thing underneath it. It says base layer to layer zero. Now Link's dancing. Then you just delete the red panda. Now you can see that the red panda is gone and we have Link dancing inside the Snapchat window. And now it looks like he's really big and you can't see him, but I actually recommend once you upload it to keep it big because when you have them small, they come out really small. But I'll shrink them down a little bit just so you can see how it looks. Let's uh... Cut him down by a half. There you go. Now you can see him, like a, a smaller version of him. Then if you want, you can go to Project Info and change the name to uh, whatever you want to do. You can make an icon. I'm not going to bother with that right now because I want to show you how to upload it. When you're satisfied with what you have, you go to File, Submit Lens. It's going to want you to log into Snapchat. Mine is Hot Pikachu Sex. Not a robot. Oh god, it's doing the storefronts thing. See, some of these are ambiguous. Like, that could be a storefront, but it's, it's, I don't think it is. So now we logged into Snapchat. It'll authorize the Lens Studio. And then, at this point, you should get the thing to confirm your submission. And it takes them a little while to approve it, but it seems like they're pretty lenient on the approval process. They don't care if you use, like, characters or whatever the hell. And that's it. They'll send you an email when it's good to go, and you can use it. You can share it with your friends, do whatever you want with it. And there's a lot of things you can do inside Lens Studio, like add music, uh, change the lighting and whatnot, but now you should know everything you need to know to be able to make your own AR lenses for Snapchat. Peace out.